Scorpio, you need to know this right now for February the 13th through February the 14th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for February the 13th through February the 14th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Scorpio for February the 13th through February the 14th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Scorpio for February the 13th through February the 14th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Scorpio. Scorpio, these are your cards, honey. So, Scorpio, you have the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So listen, Scorpio, you can tell me that you're waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. For Scorpio, clarify the Seven of Pentacles. For Scorpio, clarify the Seven of Pentacles. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending and betrayal. So Scorpio, very well could be feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation. However, in tarot, 10s are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that this betrayal had something to do with your coins. Hmm. Scorpio, you can tell me that, you know, there's been a betrayal and now you're waiting, contemplating and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Scorpio, you can tell me that maybe you're waiting for them to come out of feeling a sense of betrayal, waiting for them to be over it, or you're just waiting to see whether or not you're going to be over it or not. Maybe they're going to give you a reason to get over it. Scorpio, you have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There is an offer on the table that you're not accepting nor rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer will be rejected. So Scorpio, listen, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. 
Now, Scorpio, very well could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the spouse's parent of your child, or someone who wants maybe some type of stability here that is coming in with an offer you don't want. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer because you could be waiting on them to get over some type of betrayal here, Scorpio. Scorpio, you have the Nine of Wands, Aries, Leora Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground here. Clarify the nine of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the nine of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the nine of wands for Scorpio. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Scorpio, listen, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star. For Scorpio, clarify the star. For Scorpio, clarify the star. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Scorpio, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Scorpio, listen, something could be going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Now Scorpio, listen, hmm. You can tell me that something is going on with these coins. There was some type of betrayal here, Scorpio. So, you know, you're highly suspicious and you're going to go confront this person, okay? However, Scorpio, you know, you can tell me that there is a breakup taking place here, okay? There's a confrontation. Either you're highly suspicious of them because they caused you a sense of betrayal here. Or Scorpio, listen, there's a breakup happening and maybe you're trying to be persistent because it may be you wanting to come in with this offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. And maybe you're waiting to, and hoping that they're over some type of betrayal. So it seems like this reading could be vice versa. Unless you tell me different over here. Scorpio, you have the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Clarify the three of cups for Scorpio. Clarify the three of cups. For Scorpio, clarify the three of cups. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the ace of cups. Hmm, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So new love, new start to love, or a blessing here, Scorpio. So Scorpio, listen, you could have just cause to celebrate with this blessing because maybe they're getting it right after you're confronting them here. 
You know, maybe they're making an offer that you can refuse and they're coming back to the drawing board here because it caused you a sense of betrayal dealing with these coins and some type of blessing. So now you have just cause to celebrate. Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys are actually reuniting here and starting new. Hmm. Hmm. However, Scorpio, you can tell me that someone had new love here. They had a third party. Scorpio, you have the seven of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Scorpio, <clears throat> you could be all up in your head fantasizing here, yes? You can tell me there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Now, Scorpio, you guys could have this tit for tat tug of war toe to toe going on over some type of confusion here. And this confusion could be over these coins and someone shortchanging you, giving you an offer that you can refuse. But it seems like they want to make up for it, okay? So your stinger may be out. Scorpio, you can tell me that there's some form of mind games and manipulation going on here, Scorpio. Some type of confusion, lies or illusions, or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options, possibly with a third party new love causing this betrayal. However, comma, <laughs> Scorpio, you know, <laughs> Scorpio, listen. Whenever I see this card, when I do tarot, I think about you, <laughs> Scorpio. You may be pissed and you may have an ax to grind here. And you could be looking at your other options. And because they pissed you off, whether it's with coins or some other betrayal, Scorpio, it's like maybe you're reuniting with someone new or reuniting with someone from your past and starting new with them. Okay, Scorpio, because you're pissed here. You know, you thought about it. Mm -hmm. You know... Maybe I just don't even want their cup at this point. I'm just kind of done. Like, it's nothing you can say. Like, I don't want to hear it. Like, ugh. So, Scorpio, you need to know this right now for February the 13th through February the 14th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.